My name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. The mainstream is going to want you focused on, on anything and everything but the truth. The mainstream, the political elite in Washington, D.C., these juggernauts in power on, in Wall Street who are truly governing this country, governing this world, they don't want you paying attention to what's coming down the tracks. A freight train. You're supposed to be understanding that the political system is fair and just and we get what we deserve. Listen to me. Listen, this thing is completely, utterly, totally fantasy. We know this. We've seen what happened to Ron Paul over the last uh, year of his uh, out there being campaigning, uh, having substantial support, having substantial numbers show up, and then suddenly getting less votes than, than people he had in an auditorium the night before. There is no fair, free election in this country. It does not exist in this country or anywhere in the world, in the so-called free world, for that matter. We have technocrats of one kind or another. You do not get a choice. You don't get a vote. You don't get to be heard. You do not deserve to be heard. This is the message you should be taking from the current political system we have. You don't deserve to self-determine your future. Somebody else is doing it for you. Mainstream media wants you focused on Mitt Romney being the uh, choice for the Republican Party. If that's if you even have an inclination to be involved in politics in this country. If you don't, and you just want to be entertained by the pop culture news media, there's plenty of stories out there. You can read all about how a homeless individual ripped the face off and chewed on the face of another homeless individual. You can hear about uh, all kinds of pop culture murders. You can hear all kinds about gay marriage. You can hear all about the so-called left-right battles that are going to be unraveled uh, during this uh, 2012 silly season. But you're not going to hear the news that matters to you. This is the news the alternative media has been talking about, namely since 2008, which is we went through something in 2008, 2009 that was called the credit crisis. And we were all lulled to sleep, at least uh, the majority of the people were lulled to sleep because people like Ben Bernanke, Tim Geithner, and these other heads of these central banks around the world have it all figured out. They can crank out the printing presses, save their friends on Wall Street, save their friends in the city of London, and everything was going to be okay. Do you have any understanding of the trillions of dollars, trillions of dollars that have been spent, borrowed, or guaranteed to keep a very few institutions up and running? The top five in this country, they own more wealth now, uh, in as far as the economy goes, than they did pre-crisis. This is a crime in and of itself. But the fact is, the largest bank in this country, J.P. Morgan Chase, has the largest exposure to derivatives on this planet. And the, and the luxury of having uh, this legal-based capitalist system for J.P. Morgan is they were able to help craft the Dodd-Frank legislation. We could have went back to Glass-Steagall. We could have went back to separating a, uh, an investment bank from a bank holding company. But that made too much sense. And that was all done on one piece of paper. No, no, no. We had to write Dodd-Frank, thousands of pages that the special interest helped. Uh, just, you know, happened to be there to help write this thing. And because of it, the largest bank in this country, if not the world, J.P. Morgan Chase, now uh, is has the uh, ability to shirk their der derivative exposures on you, American taxpayer. We have our Federal Reserve doing currency swaps for Europe to a tune of $600 billion six months ago to keep that phony, fraudulent Ponzi scheme going over there. But guess what, America? Guess what, world? It's all coming crashing down. And it's coming down soon. If we look at some headlines that matter, you know, that should matter to you in your future, we can see that, you know, 10,000 uh, increase on the first-time unemployment claims. Big deal. We'll write off uh, the participation rate tomorrow when the jobs number comes out, and we'll pretend we're under 8%. But the real news that's coming out is Europe is imploding. Europe is falling apart. Greece, they've already written off. Spain has higher uh, yield on their tenure than they've had uh, in at forever. We see Italy talking about a recession, if not a depression, and we see the central banking cabal that uh, is governing Europe begging for more power and more authority, begging for the destruction of, of governments, representative governments, in these countries that make up the Eurozone. And if they don't get what they want, guess what they're going to do? Exactly what the banksters did here. They're going to crash the markets, and when they crash the markets this time, it isn't going to be a, oh my gosh, we'll print some money and six months later, we're on the road to recovery. Three months later, we're not going to hear green shoots coming up around this planet. We are going to go into a collapse that absolutely usurps the financial freedom of every single person that thinks they are free on this planet. They've stated their goals from the beginning. They want financial, global financial 
governance. They want control of everything. What do you think they're talking about on this very night in Virginia, these Bilderbergers getting together? Don't worry about what Mitt Romney or Barack Obama has to say because they haven't got the answers given to them yet. It's about to be given to them, and it looks for all the world they're going to let this de derivative monster implode. And when they do, thanks to legislation such as Dodd-Frank, thanks to all this crony capitalism, all this legal-based and financial-based capitalism, you are going to be on the hook for it. You, America, and the rest of the so-called free world are going to be on the hook for this failure. And the only solution then, it isn't going to be green shoots by printing money. It's going to be green shoots by giving everything, everything to these banksters. Stories are attached. That's all I got.